So I get an A. There you go. On. And, well, I don't know what I should talk about. So, basically, if I just reduce the screen, uh, what I'm looking at is... Ooh, ooh, ooh. There you go. That should confuse you. Uh, I want to look at circulating coins after Charles III effigy for 2023. So, these are coins that are issued for circulation. And they have the effigy. I think there is a 150 pence coin that was issued in the UK for circulation in 2022. Um, but there hasn't been that many. So that's, that, that's the first coin with Charles III. So when I go so Oh, what have I got so far? So when I go shopping, sometimes I do get coins. And what I've got so far is this one. So this is, God, I need to look at that screen so I can see if it's there. There you go. 2022 and 2020. So these are $2 coins. Quite small. So they're the only ones I have got in circulation so far. And as far as I know, none of the Falkland Islands have actually got any uh, new coins with uh, Charles. But they did issue, I think 2021 or 22 something, they did issue Queen Elizabeth the coins. But they probably won't issue any new coins for uh, probably at least 10 years. Okay, so if I get rid of my ugly mug. So what we are looking at is, on Numistar, we're looking at the coins that were issued with 2023. So obviously, the first one that we can see, okay, maybe I can be down here. So the first one that we can see is the Australian $1 coin, aluminium bronze. This is all over the place, so we here I am on eBay, and as you can see, there's rolls and rolls of them. So these rolls are actually quite common. And what I sell them for... Uh, yeah, about $30, $40 per roll. So pretty near, close double face value. And I don't see that many individual coins being sold. So even that one is a roll, but it has a computer-generated image. The actual coin itself looks, the FG looks a bit smaller than on the actual. Uh, yeah, whatever. So these are all sponsored posts. So if, so this one is the roll. Let's have a look. Uh, copy. Let's see what they sell for. Okay. So they used to sell for a bit. 80 bucks, but obviously that has reduced. And yeah, you got 45. If you take away postage, about 10 bucks, so about 35 dollars. Uh, is that need two two coins? Yeah, it's about four dollars each. So you need to take postage if it's free postage. If it's got postage in it, like here, then uh, you include it. Okay, so even that's too much. I would just personally just wait to get them in circulation. Okay, so that's that one. It's going to be common. It's apparently the mintage is three and a half million for now, but they might have three and a half million. That would have been ooh, if they make about three hundred thousand from a die, or maybe two hundred fifty thousand from a die. So one million is four, eight, twelve. Uh, about 14 dies they would have made. Probably made some extra. So I don't think they stopped minting those. Okay, Canada. Okay, Canada has minted uh, these coins for circulation, as far as I know. Whether they've been issued yet, I'm not too sure, but they've issued all the denominations. So you get the 5, 10, 25 cent. There should be a 50 cent, but they don't issue that for circulation. It's just not a popular coin. 
Then you've got the one and two dollar. And as you can see, they're using a different effigy, which is pretty normal for Canada these days. Okay, if we go to the actual coin. So it's designed by Stephen Rosati. And you got it here. Circulation. So they're apparently in circulation now. Okay, if we go down. The only other major place that has issued these coins is the Isle of Man. Okay, 2023, five pence. Apparently the Isle of Man is not issuing any more one and two pence coins. So the five pence is roughly equivalent to, here you go, a nine Australian cents. So really, you can't buy anything and you won't get mintage figures from the Isle of Man. It'd be was uh, they have an issue mintage figures for years so this is the animal series and so we've got the manx shear water we've got the some grasshopper can't read that what's a grasshopper mount mountain hair okay so this one is uh lesser molted grasshopper Okay. Oh, and it's got it in the Manx language as well. Lay made fair. So it's related to um I think Irish and Scottish. I know, I know it's a Gaelic language. Uh, and then you got down south, Welsh, Cornish and Britain. So and that's pretty much been revived. It was extinct. So I'm just interested. This one has, uh, yeah, mask in English, and uh, this side should probably have a uh, in mask as well. Probably put the name of the country here in English and mask, and put King Charles III. Probably have uh, also in mask. That'll be grace grouse. And obviously they issue, well they issued a lot of Tutankhamun, Tutankhamun uh, coins, Bung Beetle. And were they in circulation? I'd, I've never been to Isle of Man, I'll probably never go. It's a small island, so if you don't know where the Isle of Man is. Okay. Oh. No, the capital is Douglas. Okay, here's the Isle of Man. Okay, yeah, there's the capital there. You can tell it's a capital because it's a larger city. Most of the time these days, capital's a larger city unless it's brand new. Like that made in uh, Burma and uh, Malaysia. So here's the actual island. And if you look at here, so here we have the UK, here we have Northern Ireland, part of the UK. Here we have Ireland. So that's where the Isle of Man is. And it's a crown dependency. So, how many were issued? Nah, no idea. But looks like it comes in a nice presentation pack. Wow, it costs 160 bucks. Ooh, that's steep. Okay, then. So, this is the issue that they issued for circulation. Then we have the one pound, and as you can see, the one pound is still nickel brass. They have an issue to buy metal coin. And it has seal. I know Canadians love to go, uh, you know, clubbing with seals. Enjoy. This one, this one looks like a whale shark. Basking shark. Okay. Shark again, whatever. And that's the two pounds, roughly about four dollars. And then we've got the five pound, not a issue for circulation, has a clam. Oh, Rogan bag, Queen Scott. And then, oh, we have a another, oh, one pound full. So the Falkland Islands have issued one coin. Obviously, there's no images on it, so it probably is enough for sale at the moment. And then the UK. This doesn't have the one pence, which is, uh, I asked for them to be altered. So we've got 2, 5, 10, 
20. Okay, so this is the 50 pence goes with it. This is just a commemorative coin. So that was, I think this is the first coin issue for circulation. Let's have a look. Then you have the one and two pound. And these are really well designed coins. I actually quite like them. I would like to get the actual coin. So let's have a look. Year 93. Uh, okay. Coronation. The coin will enter circulation 2023. So about 5 million. So that's the second coin issued for circulation. And the one pound, as you can see, yeah, here's all the information. So this is a good website to actually look at. And here's where they come in, coin sets. Okay, so they got beautifully on circulating proof at the moment. So maybe uh, they're going to be issued. Basically, that's it. Now, there should be ever commemorative coins issued. So next year, as the year rolls on, more of these coins of Charles III should come out. So I'll be looking for uh, New Zealand, see what they come out with, see if Solomon Islands issues any of them. Um, probably Cook Islands. Who else? Ooh, not many countries issue coins with uh, the brand in UK monarch. Um, I'm struggling to actually think there's none on Africa anymore. Okay, probably St. Helena, Jersey, Guernsey, and, um, yeah, that's all I can think of at the moment. Anyway, so that's it for Charles III. Ah, and as you can see, the UK, Canada and Australia are each issuing different effigies. And the Falkland Islands is... Looks like using the same effigy as the UK. Oh, oh man, it's using the same effigy as the UK. Looks like it. Um, Canada's using a different one. Australia's using, yeah, pretty, pretty plain one. Not really worth really mentioning. Anyway. Okay, so let me know what you think. Thank you very much. Have an awesome Christmas and a new year. Hooroo. Turn it off. God, how do you turn it off?